Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Six on the Six Shine Gaming Channel, and today I'm bringing you a cooler, um, character guide breakdown overview, overview, whatever you want to call the video. And this is basically going to be a video about what is cooler tool set, how to play cooler, what he's good at, what he's not good at, good at cons, pros and cons, so on and so forth. And I'm gonna try my hardest to have a what to do a block for y'all by if not tomorrow by Monday. But like always, people, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Check out some of the past content. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell to get alerted every single time I drop a new vid for y'all. Make sure y'all go do that. Also, if you want to help the, support the channel, go check out the description box below. There's plenty of ways to help support the channel there. But anyways, let's get started. So, we're going to be starting off with his normals. And this is his standing light. And this is his down light. And his down light has a little bit further um, hitbox than his standing light. And this is a jumping light. And also the, the down light doesn't hit low, so keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, that's the second hit of his auto combo, as you can see. And it's far reaching, as you can tell. It brings him forward, so it has forward momentum. And this kind of reminds me of cells a little bit. And that's the third hit of his auto combo. And it goes into the cinematic. And this one reaches really, really far. Like you could be like two jumps, three jump spaces away, and by the third hit comes out, you will get the auto combo to, to hit. So that's pretty, pretty good. He has a very good auto combo, I believe, and he got some pretty good light attacks. Next normal we're gonna talk about is his standard medium, and standard medium is okay. He's on the slow side, but it has some range. I mean, it's better standing medium in the game, but the level button that we're going to talk about is the down medium. The down medium is pretty godlike. The down medium has tons of range. Um, and then this is the jumping medium. The jumping medium is pretty good as well. So he has some pretty good um, medium normals. And you're going to be using these normals a lot. And this is his medium auto combo, as you can see. As you can the level one super. So yeah. So moving on from there, he has a very good standing heavy as well. Standing heavy is pretty great. Standing heavy is probably could be used as a whip punisher. It's a very good whip punisher as you see. Look at the range of this move. And it's very unique because it takes him to the corner and then it does another follow up move. And then it's like kind of like a cinematic, whatever. Then this is his down heavy. It's pretty generic. He stays on um, grounded with his down heavy. And it's okay. And this is his jumping heavy. The jumping heavy is pretty generic as well. Um, so yeah, and moving on, he has a, a command normal, which is his forward heavy attack, and this is a low, and it kind of reminds you of Cell's um low stomp. It's kind of the same thing, and I was trying to save you a combo into in the corner or super dash after that, but you cannot at all. So yeah, and this is his down forward heavy, and this is a pretty unique move, and we're gonna talk more about that. So this move is pretty unique because it has armor against projectiles, even for full screen. If the person does a projectile, you do this move during the startup of this move, the armor will activate and it goes right through projectiles. And even for full screen, you would hit. But if they don't do a projectile, you don't end up getting that extra extended hitbox if you used to do the move for full screen. But if you did do the move full screen, you would hit with it. Another thing about this move is that it has event. It's also anti. -air. It functions just like on the down heavy, but you pretty much use a down heavy over this move in the situation because you can't get nothing besides the super dash and the corner mid screen. You can't really get nothing, and also you can also cancel to one of your special moves. But as you can see, mid screen you can't get nothing, but you can cancel to your special moves. But if you had to make a choice, you might as well just go with the down heavy if you make that right read anyway. But it's just something to be aware about. Also, let's talk about his jumping down heavy. My jumping down heavy is very, very good. As you can see, the momentum it takes him forward. As you can see, you could be a character jump this is away. If you time him right, you will hit the opponent. But he has a very, very great jumping down heavy. Jumping down heavy in the game, to be honest, I'm not too sure. So, just remember that his jump down heavy is very, 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 very good. I had to say so many times. Another thing you gotta remember about his combo structure is that he can't jump cancel his down heavy in the air. So, your combos have to be a little bit different. So, 
you have to just strictly just put your combo down. Another, and also another thing is you don't get a slot of knockdown unless you do a down heavy. But besides that, if you do the standard down medium, standard medium, you're not going to get a, a slot of knockdown. But if you do the down heavy version in your combo, you would. But going back to this, your combo structure has to be a little bit different with Pula. Because even some of the special moves doesn't give you the slide of knockdown. Like the light version of that dive kick doesn't give you uh, a slide of knockdown. And this DP, the medium DP, seems like it gives you slide of knockdown. But you're stuck in recovery. So by the time you get to down to the ground, you can't really do nothing. So, yeah. So for you to get a slide of knockdown by yourself, you have to spend meter and use the enhanced version of the um, dive kick. And that's when you could get the slide of knockdown. But besides that, you can't get the slide knocked on by himself. But what you can do is pull out a low time assist and do the medium version of the dive kick, and you will get a slide knockdown. So always rem remember that in your combo structure to use assist to get that slide knockdown with the medium dive kick. That's very important. Now let's talk about this key blast special. So the regular key blast special is this move. And it's okay. It's a single hitting move. You can't rack the fight cancel nothing like that. And it has a weird angle and stuff like that. But that's alright. And it's jumping key blast. It's pretty good. It has an angle where it kind of hits from full screen. Now if you get closer then that's totally a totally your goal or something like that. But if you're in the right area it has a nice good angle. Now moving on let's talk about some special moves. So the first special move we're going to be talking about is the dive kicks. It has three versions, light, medium, and heavy. And a light version is like a regular hit. It doesn't give you a slide and knockdown. Also, all these dive kicks are overheads. So you also got to remember that. All the dive kicks is overheads. So your opponent has to stand block it. But yeah, the light version, then the medium version causes a slide and knockdown. But you can't really do nothing after that. And the enhanced version causes a slide and knockdown when you have more time for open. So, yeah. And, it's a, and the hands version has two hits as well, so always remember that. And you can do these moves in the air as well, and they all have the same properties in the air. They all do the same things, so yeah, you can do these moves in the air. So moving on. So another thing about these moves is that you can air dash after the move is done. So let's just say you're in a situation where your opponent blocks, you can actually air dash or back dash and do whatever after. Another thing is, if you use an assist, this move act, kind of act like a cinematic. So if you use an assist, and you hit with the, the move before the assist hits the opponent, then the assist is automatically going to go away. And you can't call the assist until the move is actually done. So keep that in mind when you're using this move. So the next move we're going to talk about is his DP. And this move is very, very good. It's a rising knee. He has three versions, light, medium, and heavy. And this is also his assist as well. And is faster as an assist. And I believe from testing, it's fully invincible on startup as an assist. And has pretty great range. So that's pretty good. So moving on, the difference between each version. Light version is faster, but it doesn't have the much range. Then the medium version is slower but it has more range and i believe it's invincible like frame one or something like that where the light doesn't get invincible until later on and the enhanced version has a startup as the um light version but the range of the medium version so it's the best of both worlds and all these moves has a follow-up when you press the light again you're going to get a cross-up situation when you press the medium you stay on the same side and you press the heavy you get a cross-up situation with an extra attack that does more damage so and also remember that you can do the hands version and then when you press the hands button again you will take two bars of meter so just remember that so the light version is not a fully invincible on starter but it is invincible but not on starter so you will it will get beat out but the medium version is invincible so that's the medium version is the way to go and the hands version is invincible on startup as well so keep that in mind when using these moves so he's basically vegeta so these moves is very very good if you're in the corner and you're getting pressured and you can switch sides just like so and put your opponent into the corner without spending meter with advantage or anything like that for a dp so that's good 
you could all you could do all the DPs in the air as well. And I forgot to mention the input for this move is quarter circle back and any of the attack buttons. Now moving forward, we're gonna talk about his quarter circle forward and the key blast button. And this move is a full screen projectile, and it's kind of reminds you of a command maya. It's like a beam like command maya, five hitting. So of course it's easy to confirm to assist. And you can do this move in the air as well, but you cannot control like a, a Goku command maya or anything like that. You automatically shoot down. And the star of this move is kind of like Yamcha's command maya. So yeah. And he has another projectile that hits low. And you do this by doing four circle back and the key last button. And this is a low hit in project, the full screen projectile, and it's pretty quick. And it could catch your opponent off guard if they just stand still and not looking for it. So now I'm moving on to super moves. So the first super, and this is the grounded super, is it's quarter circle forward and a super button, and that's just level one, and it reaches full screen, as you can see, but it also posts upside. And then his air super is pretty much it looks like freezer super and it's that little dive animation and you could do this from your air normals as well and his next super we're going to talk about is his level three and this is a full on counter if you make contact with him with this move he counters all attacks so he counters beams projectiles attacks so on and so forth if you hit him during this move he will counter and go behind you and I know this seems like it's pretty, pretty strong, but there is a lot of weaknesses to this move, and we're going to be talking more about that. But like I said, it counters projectiles, it counters attacks, it counters a lot of stuff. But we're going to go over what it don't counter in a little bit. But as you can see, it's a pretty good old uh, level 3. And his air level 3, even though it's the same input, is pretty different. It's a grab and it's basically an air grab so when you're in the air and you do his level three it turns into an air grab so another thing also about this level three is that you could tiger knee this and if your opponent is standing they will get caught so i don't know if it's going to be a situation where you can set this up and catch your opponent yes and i think that's pretty pretty good that you could tiger knee this and it could catch your opponent that's pretty good and different because i don't think no other character no other character has an air grab anyways, and I don't think no other character could do stuff like that. Now, the only thing about this, if the opponent is ducking, it will completely whip. So, yeah, keep that in mind. So, now going on to the weaknesses of the level 3. Now, look of a, look at this assist. Uh, when, it, when you counter an assist, this is what's going to happen. He's going to counter assist, but you're free to move, and, you could, and he's airborne while this happens, so you could clearly down heavy him in this situation so that's one way to be out the counter another way to be out the counter is even if he does counter your move you could clearly vanish in time you could react to the counter and vanish so to be honest this counter is kind of trash to be honest because you could easily can't you could easily vanish if you have a bar of meter you could easily vanish and also some characters could actually activate their own level one so far, the only character I figure out that could do it is Goku and 16 self-destruct assist. But some other characters can't do their level 3. So, I don't know. You have to, like, really go in the lab and figure out who could activate their own level 3 during this, when this happened and who can't. But as you can see, you can go into your self-destruct, even though it doesn't really matter because he completely misses. Anyways, but if you try to do his own level 3, he doesn't get it. So, maybe it's... If it happens with characters that could avoid supers or something like that. You could also be out the level 3 and Dragon Rush them as well, so he loses his jack or so. So, yeah. At first, it seems pretty strong, but it's not that strong. But moving on, so overall game plan, you want to abuse his very good normal. So, his jumping medium is very good. It doesn't just seem that it has a lot of hit stun as it goes, so that's one thing. And his down medium is very good. So yeah, those two normals is very good. Also, you have to kind of change out your combos if you hit your opponent, like max range into down medium. You have to automatically do jump medium into a down heavy, because if you try to go for your regular combo, you will miss. Or you could just do into your standing heavy. That will always work. Um, the down forward heavy is pretty good as well if you're in a situation where 
you gotta go you're going against projectiles and you can specially cancel into it or you could call it assist if your time is on point on like mine so i messed up a couple times but yeah if your time is on point you can call it assist and get a good a combo on from there so yeah those are two good things to do and yeah that's pretty much it for this god i would show combos but eh whatever and I don't really know the show combo. As I, I showed you the example earlier. But besides that, this is pretty much the end of the road for this video. Um, hopefully you was able to learn something new. If you wasn't able to learn something new, please smash the like button. I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out all the past content because I have plenty of content, especially with Dragon Ball Fighters. So make sure you go do that. And also make sure to hit the notification bell to get alerted every time I drop a new vid for y'all. And if you want to help support the channel, please check the description box below and find out the various ways you could. But besides that, peace.